Within AssemblyWorks, the measurement task provides the technician the opportunity to input measured data from a number of devices. In this case, the Delta Sigma Company wireless grip gauge is used, but other devices such as the Origin Technologies laser gauge or Mitotoyo devices with an SPC port may be implemented as well. Each of these devices communicates using a wireless Zigbee connection. Connecting an input device is simple. Connect the receiver to the computer and open AssemblyWorks operator. After loading the appropriate job, the technician steps through the tasks. Once a measurement task is reached, a gauge connection menu will appear. The technician selects the device by MAC ID, which can be referenced on the device, and simply presses OK. Measurements can now be input into the system. If the connection interface needs to be accessed again, a button is available in the toolbar. Once a device is connected and a measurement task is opened in AssemblyWorks operator, the user simply performs measurements as instructed by the projections. At each step of the process, a single location is illuminated. Measurements made while this location is illuminated will be paired with this location for the serial number of the part the measurements are performed on. The order in which the locations are presented to the operator is explicitly defined within manuscript. Each time the technician performs a measurement, the data is wirelessly transmitted to the controller and recorded. This may be a single value or multiple values, depending on the input device. The AssemblyWorks operator software compares the measured data with the defined engineering nominals and determines if the measurement is within the established tolerance. If so, the system turns the measurement green with an AssemblyWorks operator and proceeds to the next step. When the data is within tolerance, the system automatically sequences to the next location. But when the data is out of tolerance, the system does not step forward and instead indicates to the user that the measurement is not valid. In this case, by turning red on the part and within the AssemblyWorks operator interface. The user will attempt to reposition the device and perform the measurement again. If the measurement is valid in any subsequent measurement, the system proceeds to the next step in the task. If the measurement cannot achieve an intolerance value, the technician may choose to skip the measurement and return to it later or enter a manual value. The technician's primary method of navigation within a measurement task will be the completion of an intolerance measurement. When intolerance measurements are performed, the system automatically steps the user to the next location. While performing measurements, the technician has the ability to skip locations either with voice commands, step next, step back, a gauge interface, or through the AssemblyWorks operator software. The user may close the task at any time and pick back up at a later date. Should power be lost to the system or the measurement task be closed unexpectedly, the measurements are not at risk of being lost. Each measurement is listed by its unique location ID for easy identification and shows the measurement value, data source, and measurement type. In some cases, the technician will be required to perform measurements without the assistance of a digital gauge. The system provides the persistent ability for the technician to manually input measurements into the AssemblyWorks operator software. The measurements are tied to the technician's login for traceability. When the data is input, if the values are out of tolerance, the measurement will turn red, and if the values are within tolerance, the measurement will turn green.